Okay, today we will be talking about explicit formula of an arithmetic sequence. Now, suppose we have this sequence 12, 22, 32, 42, and so on. So let's try to identify first if this sequence is an arithmetic sequence. So in going to 12, uh, from 12 to 22, you add 10. In going to 22 to 32, you add 10. In going to 32 to 42, you add 10. So there is a constant number to be added in each term of the sequence. Therefore, this sequence is an arithmetic sequence. And this constant amount added in each term of the sequence is the common difference. It's or which is your D. So how do we write explicit formula of an arithmetic sequence? So in writing an explicit formula of an arithmetic sequence, we need the first term, which is 12, and the common difference, which is 10. If you have already the first term and the common difference of an arithmetic sequence, then you can now solve the explicit formula. So how do we do that? So using the arithmetic sequence formula, so recall the arithmetic sequence formula, a sub n equals a sub 1 plus d times n minus 1. Don't be worried if n minus 1 uh, comes first before d because that's the same. So this is now the arithmetic sequence formula. So if you have already the first term, the common difference, then you can now get the explicit formula only for this sequence. Okay, so let's find now the explicit formula for this sequence. So substitute the given 12, which is the first term, and the common difference of 10 to the arithmetic sequence formula. So copy a sub n equals the first term which is 12 plus d which is 10 times n minus 1. So here what you are going to do next you are going to well, you are going to write the explicit formula in simplified form. How do we do that? We will just distribute 10 to each terms inside the parenthesis. So 10 times n and 10 times negative 1. So what is then now in the simplified form? So a sub n is equal to copy 12 plus 10 times n that is 10n 10 times negative 1 that is negative 10. After that, this is not yet the simplified form, we will add like terms, 12 and negative 10, since they are constant terms. So what is then the final answer? a sub n equals copy 10 n, 12 minus 10 that is positive 2. So this is now the explicit formula for this sequence. Okay, this is now the explicit formula for this sequence. Okay, let's try to check if this sequence, uh, I mean this explicit formula is really correct. Let's try to substitute the value of n here. So 12 here is a sub 1, 22 is a sub 2, 32 is a sub 3, 42 is a sub 4, and so on. Now let's try to use the explicit formula in finding the nth term of this sequence. Now, let's try to see if a sub 1 is really 12 using the explicit formula. Okay? So, n here becomes 1 because we need to find a sub 1. So let's try to check if the explicit is for formula is correct. So a sub 1, n becomes 1. 10 times one, n, which is 1 plus 2, that is 10 plus 
that is 10 times 1 is 10 plus 2 so 10 plus 2 that is 12 so a sub 1 is 12 that's correct how about let's try let's try a sub 4 is a sub 4 really 42 so let's try to use the explicit formula 10 n plus 2 so a sub 4 so 10 times n is 4 plus 2 so 10 times 4 that is 40 plus 2 40 plus 2 that is 42 so this is now this is the explicit formula only for this sequence okay you can use this formula in finding the other terms of the sequence say for example the 50th term You can check, you can just use this formula to get the 50th term. Okay, let's try number two example. We have 55, 48, 41, 34, dot, 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 and so on and so forth. Now, let's check first if this sequence is an arithmetic. So, Let's find the common difference. So 48 minus 55, that is negative 7. Or when you go to 48, that's minus 7. When you go to 41 from 48, that's minus 7. When you go to 34 from 41, that's minus 7. So we have a constant number here, which is negative 7. Therefore, the common difference of this arithmetic sequence is negative 7 and we can say that this is an arithmetic sequence so since this is an arithmetic sequence you can find the explicit formula okay let's find in getting the explicit formula you only need the first term which is 55 and the common difference negative 7 okay so Using the arithmetic sequence formula, a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Again, you can interchange d and n minus 1. You can put d here or you can have n minus 1 first. Okay, so just substitute a sub 1 which is 55. a sub n equals 55 plus copy n minus 1 your d is negative 7 after that you need to distribute negative 7 in each term inside the parentheses so negative 7 n negative 7 times n negative 7 times negative 1 so we will just copy a sub n equals 55 plus negative 7 times n that is negative 7 n negative 7 times negative 1 that is positive 7 combine like terms 55 and 7 so the explicit formula of the sequence 55 48 41 34 and so on is negative 7 55 plus 7 that is 62 so this is now the explicit formula only for this sequence okay so let's try to check if that's really correct so let's try to solve a sub 4 is it really 34? Okay, let's solve. So a sub n is equal to negative 7n plus 62. So a sub 4, which is negative 7n is 4 because we need to find the fourth term. So times 4 plus 62. So a sub 4 equals negative 7 times 4 that is negative 28 
plus 62. What is negative 28 plus 62? That is positive 34, which is your A sub 4 here. First term, second term, third term, fourth term, which is 34.